All right, welcome to Springer's Ventures. Frank here. So today coming to you from Penn Brewery, downtown Pittsburgh. Uh, great little brewery. It's been here for many, many years. There's an old brewery before this one. So uh, let's go check it out. I just thought that's pretty cool. That's the beginning of the building there. Established 1852. Have Hart Brewing, EV, Earnhardt Brewing. Not quite sure. I'll have to check that one out. I don't remember. It's too many years ago. So cool the old building was saved. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a walk around here. They had music playing in the background, so we had to scrub that out of there. But uh, as you can see, they have a nice little area seating in there. Now they do have a limited menu as well. Uh, back in the back behind that there where it says Penn Brewery. That's where the magic happens. That's the actual brew section back in there. There's just a little picture of the bar. Had some TVs up on there. Nice little bar there as well with all the different beers. So uh, really a cool, eclectic little place. Obviously very old, but uh, I really dig it. So here's just a picture. I know you see they got the old copper kettles in there. I thought that was really pretty nice. Here's the menu of the beers. Uh, we actually have, an, I had the Marzan and my wife had an IPA. Uh, both very solid beers. Uh, today we there actually there was a uh, Father's Day. And they had uh, actually ribs and, and brisket uh, special for that day. The ribs were phenomenal. Uh, I got the ribs. My wife had gotten the uh, brisket. But uh, man, if they ever have them ribs back on the menu, highly recommend it. So I took a walk down into, they have a, a cellar down there, basement, and uh, they had a bunch of old, uh, obviously, uh, brew items, memorabilia from the different breweries, the e &O one that was there, Dutch Club. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool, old cans, old bottles, old serving trays, just some really neat old stuff there. And you could walk around, they actually have a separate little uh, uh, tap room down in the bottom, I guess, if it gets really busy down there as well. But uh, I just thought that was pretty cool that they had some of this old stuff uh, from days of, days have gone past and stuff like that. I remember those old cans with those little screw-on lids uh, when I grew up in Pittsburgh as well. So I remember Iron City and a couple of the other ones. I always had those little screw-on clank cans. And just look at the the uh, how bottles were so ornate back then. I thought that's, that's just really pretty neat. So just walked around, videoed a little bit of that stuff down there in the basement. All right, so we're gonna go inside the beer garden of the Penn Brewery. And just for notes, if you look across the street, if you're from the Berg area, there's the iconic Heinz, the ketchup factory, pickles, and all the rest of the good stuff. Heinz 57, right across the street from there. So uh, let's go check out the beer garden. I don't know, but it's still cool either way. Just doing a little walk around. Oh, that guy had way too much beer to drink. And here's another one of the the tunnels that went back in there for storing beer. All right, just a little bit of the outside. Oh, of course, right outside there, again, the iconic 
Heinz 57. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, tour of the Penn Brewery in there in downtown Pittsburgh. If you ever get a chance, you're up in that area, by all means, you need to go check it out. Great beer, great space. Uh, everybody was really nice in there, so I really like it. We've been there several times every time I get back up to the Berg. It's one of the must-do uh, kind of stops there to do that. And, of course, uh, you can buy their beer locally at uh, the grocery stores or at the uh, beer distributors. Uh, I recommend bringing a 12-pack bringing a or two back with you as well. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Click on it, subscribe. And as always, we'll, we'll see you out on the road and we're out tooling around. Catch you later.